Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. This one here is Casey Kane's 2010 Budweiser Throwback, tribute to Daryl Waltrip. Um, I got it in the Elite form. I have, if you saw the collection video, you saw I had it. ARC, found one for $40 in Elite. Couldn't pass it up. I love Elite, so uh, ended up picking it up. But uh, anyway, on to the uh, box here. Standard Elite box from 2010. Um, gonna have the sleeve and then the box underneath there's no cards or anything with this there is an elite card it's just gonna tell me it's din 97 that's really all there is on there uh, i don't really feel like getting it out one of 125 elites onto the die cast so with this die cast um as you said i've i've had this in arc or arc or whatever people call i call it arc but it's arc um, but anyway i've had it in that and then i decided uh found this in elite and really wanted it so uh, same thing looks on the outside. No real differences here. Um, it's all going to look about the same. The nice, oh, maybe window net doesn't come down on these. No, it does not. Uh, window net does come down on some. This is not one of them. I think it might be 2011 that starts. No, because I don't know. Usually window net comes down. This one, it does not, so I'm not sure why. But uh, Anyway, let's look in the trunk. Got our braces, tethers, and fuel cell in there. Big old Budweiser. Across the back there. On to the right side, we've got Budweiser, number nine. Um, got a, a little stupid hair. Is that a hair or a scratch? Oh, we got a, it's a crack in the paint. Never, I didn't notice that. There's a crack in the paint right there. That is actually a Lionel defect. Uh, I have seen these before, but this is the only car I have. Um, but yeah, that's a Lionel defect there. So, on to the front. Uh, Budweiser Ford Fusion. We got the splitter with the little uh, braces up in the front here. See the metal braces up there for the cab. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look under the hood here. Um, there's not a ton to see on this car um, as far as uh, paint scheme is very plain. As I said, it's a throwback, so it's not meant to to you know draw your eye in and you know uh, really shock you. It's meant to just pretty much bring on back some nostalgia. If anybody here watches The Office, you'll know the uh, quote of uh, Dwight Schrute, quoting how nostalgia can make baseball as a worthless sport seem good. So maybe he can get it to get their family to move back on the farm or something like that. So <laughs> uh, There's the under the hood detail. This is the reason I get elites. Um, at least older elites, not the current, well, current elites too. But um, yeah, under the hood, you can see we've got a lot better detail. we got shocks, colors, wires, hoses, all of that's in there. All looks really, really nice. Braces and tethers are good. Um, just in general, you know, let's get up there. Let's get a nice cool look on these engine details. So this, this is what an Elite used to be. I mean, you look at last year's Elite, it makes you sad. Because if I had this kind of quality on a current Elite, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it at all. But, uh, man, 100 bucks for what last year's Elite were had, had its perks, had its downsides. So um, roof flaps on these also have the, the two, whoops, also have the two tethers. Um, and I had it. But then it uh, closed on me again. There we go. There's the two tethers on that roof flap. And uh, an antenna on the roof there. But, um, yeah, other, other than those couple things, we got the bumper bar and then the detail up here, which is nice. Working rear suspension. I'm always careful not to bust it, but it does, you know, function and move and whatnot. So um, we got a wobbly spoiler there. Have to be cautious on that. These things bust it off all the... Oh, it's... Move in there. That means there's a loose screw inside there. See the hinge moves. Again, it was an eBay buy, so uh, you know, not much I can do about it now. But uh, it, it, not a bad buy. Forty bucks. I mean, this thing's nice. So um, no regrets there. But um, yeah, overall, uh, pretty neat looking throwback. This was before they all started doing the Darlington throwbacks here every year. So this was kind of one of those first throwbacks. You know, they had Dale Earnhardt Jr. run his. Do throwback in 2008, Gordon in 09. This was in 2010 at Richmond, so kind of neat um, that they ran them all like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I mean, just another elite review, nothing too crazy. I said I had this car before, just kind of got it and upgraded into an elite. I do that uh, from time to time if I see a, a good elite that I already have the ARC of, but I wanted to upgrade it anyway. So um, yeah, anyway, uh, if you like the video, thumbs up subscribe, all that fun stuff, share the video, helps get it around and 
500 subscribers, we'll do the collection video. So no other announcements there, but uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next diecast review.